Hi there, today I'm going to do a any type tour of the user interface as of December 14th, 2025. So I'm recording on a Mac with version 0.52.4. So first of all, let's talk about the big picture. Your AnyType account, the biggest container is called a vault. So this has everything that's within it. And in the desktop app, in the lower left corner, you will find your vault level settings. So select your profile image down there. And here in the account level settings, you'll find where you can change your photo for the profile, as well as the name on your account, and then this any ID. Now, if you're on a free version of the membership, you would just have a very long alphanumeric name and it would be really really long so one of the benefits of a paid membership with any type is getting this customized name this also helps when you are going to use publish to web which means you can share links like they are a essentially a website so this would be similar to a website domain name some of the other things i just want to call it really quick in this vault level settings are under preferences you can have your appearance so light mode dark mode as well as some other um, level settings. We also have an important one here is your date and time formats. They're listed under language and region. Now, the next thing we're going to look at is this sidebar on the far left. So everything in here, I have a lot of them, are called channels. And you have two different types of channels. You have the ones that are square are considered spaces. And then the ones that are circles are chats. Now, technically, they have very similar things within them. It's just the way that they are presented to you is different. This is a space. So you can see that the focus is really on the, the notes and the files. However, if I switch over to, say, a chat channel, you'll see that the focus here is on the messaging. And while you still have this menu, you can attach files here to your chats the chat interface is the priority over here so if you are just using any type by yourself you might not have many spaces you might just have one that's totally fine you can either minimize this to make this look like just icons or you can also just collapse this sidebar completely by using the toggle up here so this next panel is referred to as the widgets sidebar and we have some different things that you can do here to access the settings. So this is like the second level down of settings for any type. You would click on the title of your space or chat and you have this pop up menu, which gives you these settings. Now here, if you want to rename, you need to hover over to the right side and you'll see edit pop up. And here is where you can edit the name of the space as well as add an icon to your space as well. So if you want to collaborate with other people, this is how you would go about it here and invite members, or you can simply copy the link or QR code for them to scan. Okay, so let me go back to this panel. So right under your space title, you'll see this uh, is where you can create new objects. You also have a drop down menu here if you want to select different types of objects. You can think of this as like the first level category for your pages or notes or files. And you can customize them or you can just, you know, start off by using one. That's how I started with any type. I just used pages for a long time. And then as you get more comfortable, you can very easily change a page into another type. Okay, below this, we've got the search function. So you can access search here. And you can also access search from the kind of the middle of your main editor. If you click on the title, you can also access the same search pop up. And then directly underneath here, we have three more sections. So we've got our pinned section. These are your, you know, favorites, essentially. You can access them by clicking on these pin icons up here in the top right corner. And then we also have objects. So again, this is like all the different categories you have in your space and then recently edited. So anything that's been changed recently. 
And this is different from what is up here. You've got this clock icon, which is recently opened. So sometimes you might just be viewing files. So this is kind of nice. If you haven't actually edited anything, you can just see what has been recently opened. Okay. And now moving on to this top bar over here in your main editor. So we have this green button here, which is your sync status. And so if you are using the AnyType network for backup and sync, this is where you'll see that everything has fully either transferred from your local device to the web, to the AnyType backup. Um, you'll see it, the check mark here. And then here we've just got our back and forward options. This guy right here is our graph. And this is like a visual representation of all of the stuff in your space. It starts to look really cool once you get a lot of content in your space. Uh, flow is another visual way to see how things are connected in your space. And then we also have the search option and then other filters for this graph view. And then let me go back here. Here, on, starting on the top right corner, we've got publish to web, which is if you decide to publish a page of your notes to be publicly viewed, you can do that here and you can change whatever comes after the backslash in your domain name. And then next to it, we've got our properties, which is here on the right. So you'll get a pop-up menu on the right side this time. And this properties are really just all the attributes that come with your, uh, your page. And then uh, you also have the option to edit the type. So if we're talking about not just editing this specific page, the home page, we're talking about editing all pages, like the category of pages, that's where you would go to edit type. So here we've got lots of different options as well as the ability to have templates for um, your categories and more ways to view the properties or attributes of each one.